Are you thinking about a move to Santa Clarita and just can't decide which neighborhood or area to move to? Well, let's dive into some neighborhoods to see which one will fit you the best. Santa Clarita is made of six primary communities, including Valencia, Saugus, Canyon Country, Newhall, Cass Steak, and Stevenson Ranch. Acton and Aquadulce are considered next door neighbors located to the north. Living in Santa Clarita offers residents a dense suburban feel and most residents own their own homes. In Santa Clarita, there are a lot of coffee shops and parks. Many families and young professionals live in Santa Clarita and the public schools are highly rated. Let's take a look into these communities that make up Santa Clarita. Let's start off with Canyon Country. This is where my parents bought their first house back in 1965. There was only one grocery store and it was very rural. Boy, has it changed. This bedroom community is one of the earliest communities in the valley and includes Sand Canyon. Starting out as a collection of rural homes spread out throughout the canyons, it was renamed in 1968. This is close to the 14 freeway. Here it is on the map. A median house price in Canyon Country is about 697,000. Canyon Country home prices are similar to the state's average of 730,000. In regards to housing disparity, the quality of neighborhoods within Canyon Country varies greatly. If you're new or unfamiliar with the neighborhoods in Canyon Country, you might be pleasantly surprised at what you'll find. It's a wonderful community in which to make your home. There's plenty of convenient nearby shopping, dining, and activities for the children. Sand Canyon is located right here on the map at the northeast end of Santa Clarita, east of the Antelope Valley Freeway or both sides of Sand Canyon Road. The community is known for its large upscale homes on large lots and picturesque settings. It's a community of neighborhoods and custom ranch homes situated within Canyon Country. If you're shopping for a custom home on a large lot or acreage, Sand Canyon is just what you're looking for. The community has a variety of home styles, but it's definitely a place for home buyers looking for larger homes away from the typical subdivisions that make up most of Santa Clarita. You can find good values in Canyon Country and can choose from a wide range of home types, everything from affordable condos to upscale luxury homes. Now let's check out the community of Newhall. Newhall is the oldest area of Santa Clarita with a well-preserved rich filming history. The area is undergoing a redevelopment focusing on its Western heritage. There are several new home developments in Newhall. What I love about Newhall is the redevelopment of Old Town. Main Street has come alive with all the new restaurants and boutique type stores. Old Town New Hall is an eclectic shopping, dining, and entertainment destination that mixes rustic charm with cosmopolitan appeal. With boutique shopping, fine and casual dining, and Old West heritage, Old Town New Hall is a great place to shop, gather with friends and family, and just enjoy the day or a night out on the town. New Hall is filled with many smaller neighborhoods, including the ranch-type Placerita Canyon neighborhood and the exclusive Happy Valley community. Then there are luxury homes in the popular Peachland Estates neighborhood. For the over 55 and better age group, there's a wonderful senior community at Friendly Valley, and it even comes with a golf course and plenty of organized community activities. Local New Hall residents enjoy easy access to plenty of convenient shopping, dining, and mostly located along downtown and along the main thoroughfare of Lyons Avenue. The average price home as of this recording is $800,000. Here's New Hall on the map. Hi, I'm Kim Block, local realtor here who loves helping sellers and buyers navigate our market, but I also love sharing all about Santa Clarita. My information is down below in the description. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps my channel and you'll be notified every time I do a new video. Next on my list is Saugus, another bedroom community that sprang up in the mid 1900s. The area is sprinkled with new home development. It is located near the boundaries of Valencia, yet backs up against the Angeles National Forest. Saugus is known for its excellent schools. Many developments do not have homeowners association fees, mellow ruse, or school bond taxes. It is also convenient to both Interstate 5 and State Highway 14. Choose this area if you want to avoid HOAs yet be conveniently located to Valencia. If you're looking for a great spot to raise a family, then look no further than the Saugus neighborhood. Neighborhood Scouts analysis found that the combination of good quality public schools above average safety from crime and a high rate of home ownership and the predominantly single family homes help make this neighborhood among the top 11.9% of family friendly neighborhoods across the state of California. In addition, families here highly value education. 
as is reflected by the strength of the local schools, in part due to the educational attainment of the parents here, who vote in support of the public schools. As of this recording, Saugus Medium Real Estate Price is $834,000, which is more expensive than 59.5% of the neighborhoods in California and 90.6% of the neighborhoods in the United States. The average rental price in Saugus is currently at $3,952 based on Neighborhood Scouts exclusive analysis. The average rental cost in this neighborhood is higher than 78.7% .7 of the neighborhoods in California. Saugus is a suburban neighborhood based on population density located in Santa Clarita, California. Saugus real estate is primarily made up of median sized homes, three or four bedrooms to large four to five bedrooms or more, single family homes and townhomes. Most of the residential real estate owner occupied. Many of the residences in Saugus neighborhood are established but not old, having been built between 1970 and 1999. A number of residences also were built between 2000 and the present. Now let's check out Valencia, a community designed to integrate work, shopping, play, medical care, and home as promised by Newhall Land and Farming Company. Winding paseos or footpaths connect residents to commercial properties. This is where you'll find Valencia Town Center, loaded with your favorite retailers, restaurants, and movie theaters, and Six Flags Magic Mountain. This community is known for its excellent schools and small town atmosphere. It is also in close proximity to Interstate 5. Here's Valencia on the map. Valencia is located in the northwestern Santa Clarita, right off of Interstate 5. Valencia is one of the newest and most active neighborhoods. It is home to Six Flags Magic Mountain Theme Park, as well as several shopping centers and schools, plus parks and recreational areas along the banks of the Santa Clara River. Valencia boasts many Spanish-style homes with stucco and red tile roofs that match the region's Mediterranean climate. Valencia is a great neighborhood for more active people seeking rich social lives. Valencia is based in the Santa Clarita Valley and known for its beautiful master-planned communities, lovely paseo systems, great shopping opportunities, and wonderful dining. If considering buying a home in the area, Valencia is really a must-see. You'll have plenty of different options from which to choose from. If searching for a waterfront home, you might try looking in the Valencia Bridgeport area. If you're passionate about golf, there's an amazing golf course in Valencia Westridge. Median sales prices as of this recording are $799,000. Here are the unincorporated communities of Santa Clarita. Acton is a rural community that is grouped in with both the Antelope Valley and the Santa Clarita Valley. Here you'll find mainly equestrian communities, Blum Ranch, and Animal Rescue. This area is known for its rural appeal and close proximity to Highway 14. Here's Acton on the map. Almost everyone living in Acton would say the same thing. Acton is a beautiful small community with kind people all around. It's a rural area that portrays a peaceful countryside life. If you are into cowboy life, then Acton is a perfect place to live. A lot of houses in Acton have large properties where you can raise horses and other livestock. Countryside living 30 minutes from any amenity. Many love having land and space between their neighbors. The views are beautiful and the people who live in Acton also get to enjoy a few inches of snow each year. As of this recording, the average priced home is $754,000. Aqua Dulce is another rural community known for Vasquez Rocks. It's equestrian ranches, wineries, and animal rescues, also close to Highway 14. Choose this area for its rural, western, and small town charm. So many fun small town things to do here. There is hiking, wineries, a local sanctuary that rescues animals, and you aren't that far away to enjoy dining in New Hall and other activities. Aqua Dulce is a wonderful community to raise kids, have horses, farm animals, and your own space. Next on our list is Castaic. Believe it or not, Castaic used to be known as a truck stop. Castaic sits about four miles north of Valencia off Cal State 5. There are many new home developments in Castaic, along with the pristine Castaic Lake Recreation Area. This is also in close proximity to the interstate. Here it is on the map. Castaic is a great place to live. Castaic ranks well in a combination of factors and diversity. Castaic truly has something for everyone, and that's why it's a great place to call home. Castaic is also a town of artists. Castaic has more artists, designers, and people working in the media than 90% of the communities in America. This concentration of artists helps shape Castaic's character. Because of many things, Castaic is a very good place for families to consider. 
with a combination of good schools, low crime, college educated neighbors who tend to support education because of their own experiences and a high rate of home ownership in predominantly single family properties, Castake really has some of the features that families look for when choosing a good community to raise children. Is Castake perfect? Of course not. And if you like nightlife, it will be far from your cup of tea. But overall, this is a solid community with many things to recommend it as a family-friendly place to live. In Castaic, however, the average commute to work is quite long. On average, people spend about 32.78 minutes each day getting to work, which is significantly higher than the national average. Now let's check out Stevenson Ranch. Here it is on the map. A bedroom community known for excellent schools set in the foothills and adjacent to Valencia. Many commercial properties are located here. Choose this community for its excellent schools, new developments, and proximity to the Interstate 5. Stevenson Ranch is a neighborhood every family should consider when buying a house. It's located near Valencia and has great access to huge shopping centers and restaurants. Houses are modern and large in this neighborhood, and there are wonderful public high schools nearby. As of this recording, the average priced home is over $900,000. Honestly, Santa Clarita has something for everybody as far as communities and neighborhoods go. I was raised here, raised my kids here, and now my kids are raising their kids. Feel free to reach out should you have any questions. Now watch my next video on the top things to do in Santa Clarita.